My anxiety does not define who I am. It's a piece of who I am, but it's not me. It's not Michaela. It's just a small fraction of me. Michaela is my middle child and she is just a beautiful, smart soul. She is artistic, she loves to laugh, she loves her family. Anxiety has been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. I was officially diagnosed in third grade with social anxiety disorder. Living with anxiety is like living with this overwhelming fear, these obsessive, anxious thoughts that are never stop going through your head. It keeps you from doing the things that you love to do. It was interesting going to school, meeting other mothers. They would see Michaela and they would be like, just make her do it. You can force her to go to school. So she cries a little bit. She'll be fine. But I knew that she was not playing me. She was truly struggling. It was very hard for her. And you could see it in her eyes. And I could see what she wanted to do, but was not able to do it. In a way, putting a name to it validated it. It's like, this is something real that I'm struggling with. And at the same time, I think it added more stigma to it. You don't even know what the word anxiety means. I don't know, why do I feel like this all the time? And why don't other people feel like this? When she was diagnosed, it was a sort of relief of, okay, this is what we're dealing with. Um, but it also, my heart hurt for her. It hurt because, you know, I, I wanted her to be able to enjoy life, to enjoy friends, you know, for the world to see who she was. You know, our body is like a vehicle, and our brain is the engine in the vehicle. And some brains, some engines are different than other engines. And sometimes with kids with anxiety, it's like their brain is a race car. It, it's very touchy, and they need to learn how to drive it. They need to learn the skill set of being able to put their hands on the steering wheel, to be able to take their foot on and off the gas, and what those skills look like. And instead of interpreting that, that something's wrong with them, they can interpret it that they need to learn how to drive a specialized engine. In middle school, I definitely felt like, oh, there's something wrong with me. Once I got into high school, I was like, there's nothing wrong with me. I just struggle with something that other people don't struggle with. And I just have a brain difference. My brain just works differently than other people's. and. What's so bad about that? I'm not ashamed of it. I would not trade my anxiety for anything. It, as I said, it doesn't define me, but it is part of me. And it's made me a much more empathetic person. And it's made me a more creative person. And it helps me understand a lot of what other people are going through. Now, to look back, I am so proud of my daughter. I have never been ashamed of her. And she has come so far. And it really does you good to see where she's been and where she is now. I don't know what I would have done without my family. <laughs> They've never made me feel like there's something wrong with me. What I wish we understood is giving children the power to be able to see their specialness and their uniqueness at the same time as set the bar at something that they can handle and keep working at skills. Over time, we think these are the kids that produce creative artistic expressions. These are our novelists. These are our artists. When you first have those babies, you have so many ideas in your head, how it's gonna go, how you're going 
to be as a parent, but you learn with each child. You gotta learn to love your child for who they are because every person is special. And uh, that's what makes this world so great.